Hey guys, Michael with Mealy Marine, and today we're gonna be working on this beautiful Legend Alpha something something Dumaflachi. What we're gonna be doing on this boat is we're going to be pulling the jack plate and putting a Bob's Machine Shop hydraulic jack plate. It's black, looks beautiful. In order to get the jack plate off though on this boat, you have to pull the fuel tank. So I've already spared y'all by pulling the gas. You don't have to watch me do that. It's very stressful to pull gasoline from a gas tank because I don't want to burn down people's boats. Now what we need to do is we need to take off all these hoses, all this stuff. I we have to pull the troll motor batteries. We gotta pull that battery over there. We gotta pull this cover. And then there's some brackets. We gotta take the brackets out and we're gonna lift the gas tank like this and we're gonna lift it up and out. And then we'll be able to get to the bolts for the jack plate. Luckily, I own the place, so I don't have to do the bad things. And I pay somebody to do the bad things. So he's gonna be up in there, but I think this is a good setup. He can literally make a little home in here and live in there while we do it. So stay tuned while we try to figure out how to get this out. So we got the gas tank out, as you can see. Um, took us a little bit of time, but nothing too crazy. Now we got everything out. We have straight access, probably the easiest access we have to these bolts. So now what we're gonna do is we need to take the power poles off. Hugh's gonna start running the snakes and the wires to the console for the gauge and all that, so that we have the, all that set up. Okay, so I just want to make sure we get started with a good weather update. It's been raining non-stop for the last couple of days. And I think it's, uh, I haven't checked the temperature, but it's kind of nice this morning, but it is very humid morning. It's pretty early here. And we're doing one of my most favorite things. And we are going to swap this jack plate out from a manual one to a hydraulic one. And uh, obviously when you're dealing with a situation like this, this is somebody's motor. Uh, very expensive. We're very fortunate we have a forklift truck. We have really good straps. Make sure you check your straps out. Uh, we've already changed this up a couple of times this morning. Uh, to make The other thing is to make sure that your straps lift the motor equally. Some of the motors have a thing in the middle. This one has one either side. I think it's nice that they left them in for us. One of the things you have to look out for is when you make the lift, the motor tends to want to swing forward. So we will have some blocks or stuff here. Also, it's kind of weird because after you get it off, it wants to go back the opposite way. So you want to make sure that you restrain your motor so it's just not swinging backwards and forwards. The other thing that we try to do is not move the motor very far. We're still hooked up. So we want to get it back far enough to get the jack plate in, but not too far that we're creating ourselves problems. It's kind of one of those things, happy medium, so you can work, but work safely, etc. So the other thing that the guys have already done is they have everything organized. So they have all their stuff organized here, all their tools ready, bolts ready, washers ready. The one thing that I wish that people would make is thicker washers. Got everything organized the way that we like to have it, uh, but we will keep you updated. So we're getting ready to lift the motor. We're going to bust these nuts loose here is the first thing we're going to do. And then we'll take the jack plate off the boat. A lot better prepared. So we're going to lift this thing real quick and we'll update you.
Okay, so as you can see, we got the manual jack plate out. Um, it went very, very well. I say the this is the first time that we've had one stick, and the reason why it was so stuck to it was because they had so much, uh, what was it, corking or whatever you want to call it around these bolts that it wouldn't cut loose. But finally, we got a couple of uh, adjustable wrenches and broke it loose, and then we just had to go backwards and forwards till it came off. I think that the prior planning that you and Michael did on this has got us to the point that we're at right now. So right now we're getting ready to put the this plate on. You have to have the power ran for that plate, okay? So if they have not, I, I'm getting the impression that they have not done that based on the looks. And the reason being is, is that sometimes you have to move the plate up and down to get it to line up with the motor because you only have so much drop. So if it goes on and we have to lift the motor up, we're golden. But if we have to drop the motor down, we only have, you know, a few inches. So it's probably a good idea to have it either just roughly wired in, not finely wired in, where you can actually move the jack plate up and down. It also does make the installation a little bit easier from a standpoint of lining up all the bolts. We're fortunate because we have the forklift truck, but even having that little bit of adjustment on this will help line all the bolts up. You do not want to put this plate in any kind of bind, any kind of strain. This is a casting. And I, I get very nervous about this, that you don't want to be prying on this. You do not want to put it in a bind because you definitely do not want to create an issue here. So we're going to get ready to go back on this. They're going to get the corking guns out. Michael now has an uh, electric corking gun that dispenses corking 10 times faster before. So we'll probably all have corking on ourselves along with no seas here in the next few minutes. So uh, that's the update and we will keep you updated. It's gone very, very well so far and we've got to keep our fingers crossed that the rest of it goes well. Thank you. So as you can see in the background, Hugh's dropping a battery in so we can adjust our trim here. Is that trim? Trim here, and then we can also lift the jack plate up and down to match it up to this plate here. One of the things you need to be sure of is that you have some really good thick washers. In mind, the other thing is we did torque them down. This really nice tool, snap-on tool. We torqued them down to the correct setting and uh, then we went through and did a discount double check. After we hang the motor and the motor's been sitting on it a little while, we're gonna go back and recheck the torque settings to make sure that we've got these tight. That's the update and we're gonna keep you updated, thanks. So um, as you can see, we got the motor on the, uh, the new jack plate. Um, I would say without a doubt, this is the best one we've done. And it really boils down to the fact that uh, uh, Hugh and Michael did a lot of planning to, uh, to be able to do this. And I think one of the things that if you're gonna do this is make sure you have some additional hardware. We did have to end up replacing one of the nuts. I'm not really 100% sure that it was a problem, but we just didn't want to take a chance of cross-threading it. So we're going to leave it like this overnight and then double-check the torque settings in the morning before we put the gas tank back in. We'd really like to wrap this up today, obviously, but uh, sometimes an ounce of prevention is worth a lot of cure. Uh, so tomorrow morning we can check the torque, uh, torque settings back here. We did, I don't know if the video caught it, we did check the height of this when it's down in regards to the bottom of the boat, that is critical. I don't understand all, how that all works, but Michael and you had some straight edges down. And so you wanna make sure you're in a range where the jack plate actually does what it's supposed to do. We always bring you in on days like this because if, if we need somebody getting in tight spots, use your man. So there you go. He weighs 200 pounds less than me. <laughs> so.
All right. So there we go. We'll uh, update you on the rest of this boat as it goes, gets done. All righty, guys. So we've been working pretty hard today. Um, I'm not feeling very well, and we've been pretty busy with people bringing in boats for us to work on. So we did not get to film much of this, but we did get the gas tank back in. We got everything hooked up. All the hose clamps back on, the sender unit wired up, all the batteries back in, everything's back in. Um, everything works. Let's go up here real quick. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. Look at that, look at that thing. We haven't put the transducer on yet. That's one thing we haven't done. We're so we're, we're trying something new. We're just gonna dangle the transducer down. Yeah, honestly that really, it adjusts it for idle speed. Uh, yeah. yeah, yep. So uh, obviously the bobs, the black bobs looks great. Power pulse, it looks super good, super clean, goes up and down. Now, I'm not partial to either brand, but I do think Bob's goes up and down a little bit quicker than an Atlas. We should have a race. There's another boat over there with an Atlas. We can race, see which one's faster. So that's done pretty much. I did not, I filmed some of this, but not all of it. He, we took out a HGS9. We put this piece of acrylic in there that customer provided. We got our trim and we got our jack plate gauge. So. Look at that. So we got that. We got all the wiring cleaned up. Uh, we have. We have a couple things left to do. We got to move the spare tire. Um, just little things here and there. Something that I didn't talk about was the dual blinker trim. Uh, if you look right here on the steering wheel, it like goes back. So we had to like grind these out so that it would fit. I think it came out really nice. It was a nice little Mealy Marine added touch. Um, but yeah, I'm done talking. I feel like trash. I wanna go home and I wanna go to sleep. So. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. If you guys are in the Houston area and you need a jack plate put on your boat, hit us up. We would be more than happy to do it for you. And uh, if you guys need parts, check out meliummarine.com. We ship nationwide. Bye. Yeah, so we really like getting high here at Mealy Marine off of a couple things. First and our favorite is brake cleaner. We just love snorting brake cleaner. And then uh, right behind it, in a close second place, is gasoline fumes. We just love that smell of your brain. What, what are the things? Cells? Those things in your brain dying. That's how high he is. Yeah.